Now, I wait for the- Oh! Darling, you scared me. I didn't hear you come in. How was my precious baby's day at work? You were gone for so long today. Oh, baby, you don't have to lie to me. You can tell me if you've had a bad day. I promise I won't go... Well, you know. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ugh, your boss just sounds like the worst kind of person. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to, you know, take care of him? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, baby. I'm kidding. Come on. Where's your sense of humor? You know I wouldn't do anything to upset you. Unless it meant protecting you. Do you remember that one time that robber broke into the house? <laughs> you were so cute trying to protect me. And then that burglar came out of our room, pointed that gun at you, and, well, <laughs> things got unpleasant for him. <laughs> I still hear him screaming sometimes when I dream. <sighs> so relaxing. Oh. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable bringing up the burglar. Here. Rest your head on my lap. Please? I've been good today. I haven't even come up with one plan to get rid of the whore neighbor of ours who keeps eyeing you. <sighs> sorry. I meant to say that hussy neighbor of ours. Now, will you rest in my lap? <sighs> See? Isn't this relaxing? You and me cuddling, listen to the pitter-patter of rainfall outside? Hmm. <sighs> you look so cute, darling. You lying down with me, playing with your hair. You just look so adorable. I just wanna... <sniffs> Do that. <laughs> hey, guess what? I love you. <laughs> you know, I was right about you. You're special. What do I mean? Well, do you remember the night I finally kidnapped you? I was so excited to take you home. It felt like my prayers had finally been answered. I saw you at the cafe. I was telling you about how I was having trouble trying to get my crush to notice me. And you told me I had to be bold and confident in order to get them. And then, the pill I slipped in your tea kicked in, and you were knocked out. I took you to my place and had you tied to the bed. I cuddled with you as I waited impatiently for the tea to wear off. I was so nervous. Then you finally woke up. And I was so happy to finally confess my love for you. But then, you didn't have the same feelings. You said that you were scared. I thought you hated me. I, I didn't know what to do, so I started to cry. And soon you broke free. You could have tried to leave or attack me. But you didn't. You held me as I cried. And you said you wanted to help me, and I... I ended up loving you more for it. You were willing to forgive me. You believed that I could be a better person. I don't know if I'll ever be able to look or think the same way that I did. Watching every little move you make. Getting excited to see the rise and fall of your chest when you fall asleep. But, but if keeping myself in check means that I can keep you with me, it's worth it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What was that for? For being cute? <laughs> you always have a way of making me feel special, baby. Oh, I almost forgot about dinner. Here, go sit at the table. I made one of your favorites, darling. And... 
Ta-da! What do you think? It looks good, doesn't it? Well, I'm glad to hear that, sweetie. Why don't we watch a movie while we eat? We still need to wrap up that TV series with the little green alien. All right, I'll get us some plates, and we'll watch another episode on the couch together. Wow, that was a really good ending. I wonder what they'll do in season two. Here, sweetie, let me take that. I'll clean up while you go hop in a hot shower. Then we can cuddle while I lull you to sleep. I knew you'd like that. Go ahead, I'll meet you upstairs. Huh, there you are. Mwah. Had a good shower? <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Why am I on your side of the bed? Well, it's a little cold tonight, so I figured we could cuddle a little. Come on, lay down next to me. Aw, you look so drowsy and tired. I have to say, it's so much nicer being in bed with you, rather than watching you up in a tree or from your outside window. Hey, I only did it a couple dozen times. And besides, I stopped doing that after I got some photos of you. What? They're mostly tasteful. It's just you smiling or reading or sleeping. And I only look at them when I'm lonely and you're not home. Hmm. <laughs> Fine. I'll get rid of them on one condition. You have to make a photo album with me, so I can look at that while you're away. <laughs> Good. Now then, I believe I owe you a song. Sweet dreams, baby.